All right, let's sort out Rafik. So last Thursday um, at the pub night, I took Rafik and he performed pretty good. But I realized it feels like I have too much cute bullshit in there. Um, too much protection, too many things that really don't do anything to advance my strategy. The strategy, of course, is to get Rafik down, suit him up with enchantments, and smash. And uh, it's going a lot slower than than I expected, than, uh, than I envisioned. Of course, one of the problems is I didn't get any enchantresses out. Anything that whenever I play an enchantment, I get to draw a card, or enchantment comes into play, I draw a card, that sort of thing. So the first change I'm going to make is uh, immediately apparent. The other thing I'm going to do is just go through the deck, make a pile of things that definitely stay, and make a pile of things that maybe I should uh, reconsider, should come out. So we'll put Rafik there, so... A lot of glare. There we go. Yes. There we go. Now we can see Rafik. Okay, so first thing is... <clears throat> let's start by... Okay, Mace Enchantress. Never play an enchantment spell, you may draw a card, she stays. Soul Snare. Um, kind of a Rattlesnake card. Maybe it'll come out. Oblivion Ring. Good way of taking care of a permanent, especially a permanent with indestructible. That stays. Land just stays. Sun Titan. Oh, I love Sun Titan. Uh, he stays. Land. Um, especially for a week, because if I cast him with the Oval Palace, of course he gets bigger every time he comes down. Land. Idol of Blossoms. Whenever she or an enchantment enters the battlefield under my troll, draw a card. So she doesn't care if I cast it or not. All she cares about is an enchantment coming into play. So if I attack with Bruna or block with Bruna, and I play enchantments with Bruna's ability from a graveyard or hand, she will let me draw cards for them. She definitely stays. Cultivate ramp stays. Land stays. Jelly Destiny. Um, give her feet 4 4 flying and first strike. Hell yes, that stays. Plus, if he dies, this comes back to my hand, which is pretty clutch. Unquestioned Authority definitely stays. It gives Rafik uh, pseudo unblockability because he has protection of creatures. He can't be blocked. You have my hollow land that regenerates creatures, stays. Battle Grace Angel. I do not have a lot of creatures in this deck, I only have about a dozen which is low um, plus the idea is that I attack with Rafik alone anyway so she gives him a bonus and she gives him lifelink so she stays land stays cloud cover I'm gonna set this off to the side and talk about this with another card when I get to it tropical island stays um, untap Sarah Sanctum definitely stays land stays um, Stop my creatures from dying and my enchantments from getting blown up. Stays. Land. Stays. Azorius Guild Mage. So I used her a little bit. Um, just to try it out. It didn't really work. Because I stopped somebody from equipping. And they just paid the man again to equip again. But uh, it taxed them. So they couldn't do anything else that turn. And I thought. Okay this is interesting it definitely has potential so she stays sigil of the this is an all-star oh my god this, this card so i drew it in my opening hand in uh, the second game on thursday and then a couple turns later i drew copy enchantment so i got this down i got copy enchantment down so every time i cast an enchantment thereafter i got two four four flying angels yeah stays Enchantress stays. Bear Umbra makes her feet bigger and gets uh, enables me to untap my lands. Stays. High Market. Mm. This is really insurance for anything that, and you hear me say this a lot. And any any time I show a High Market, I always say it's for Swords Plowshares, Pata, anything that would exile or steal one of my creatures, I can send it to the High Market. Uh, planning to get it back later. So it stays. Vora Stronghold for enchantments. Stays. Nomad Mythmaker. I haven't had him in play. But he has so much potential. 
that I better keep him. Tower of the Magistrate. This is becoming kind of my signature card. Um, a lot of my friends think I have this in every deck. I've just had it in the last few decks that I've brought with me. And it's, it's hilarious. It's fantastic. So, target creature gains protection from artifact. Oh, you're attacking me with that guy. How many equipment is he carrying? Six? He gets protection from artifacts. They all fall off. You're going to equip that guy? Uh, no, you're not. So, stays. Uh, command tower that comes into play tapped? Stays. Yeah, I mean, it's got that extra stuff that doesn't apply to Rafik about uh, creature spell that shares creature type with your commander. Scry 1, yeah, it doesn't matter. Otherwise, it's just a command tower that comes to play tapped. Island stays. Our Ghost Enchantress definitely stays. Breeding Pool stays. Force Worship. Uh, this is good because, yeah, the creature can't attack. And I forgot that it only says cannot attack. The creature can still block. Pacifism, which costs the same, it's an enchantment says cannot attack or block and I got it mixed up but the reason this is here really is so I can bring it back to my hand and recast it and draw another card so that stays island stays void slime yep counter spell stays okay here's what I want to talk about so I've got this privileged position and cloud cover and they kind of have the same effect in the game this one gives my stuff hexproof. This one says whenever another permanent I control becomes targeted by a spell or ability, I can bounce it back to my hand. This costs five, this costs four. If this goes away, um, or something else happens, and I can lose it, my creatures can be targeted. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep cloud cover and take out privileged position. Because that bouncing back to my hand could be more useful than hexproof. Of course, I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, then I'll change it later. <coughs> Tundra stays. Go find my uh, Sigil of the Empty Throne stays. Add a lot of mana, stays. Scroll rack. I don't really know if I need this. So, if I have a bunch of enchantments in hand, or a bunch of lands, then I can use this to switch them out. I'm going to put this in the possibility of uh, removing. Sithis, cast and Chamus spell, gain a life, and draw a card. Definitely stays. Ranker, if the creature would die, get Ranker back. That stays. This finds my Sarah Sanctum. Stays. Teferi's Protection. Uh, Pleasant Kenobi had a great video where he talks about things you're getting wrong. And he brings up Teferi's Protection. So, people think they just disappear. And, and this is what Pleasant Kenobi says. And he explains, that's not true. Until your next turn, your life total simply cannot change and you gain protection from everything. You can still, um, how do you put it? Commander damage can still impact you, but you have protection. There's some corner cases where you can still be injured. You can still be hit. Um... I just, I was doing something else as I was listening to him, so I didn't get his full message. But if you look up Pleasant Kenobi and things, your rules you get wrong, you can find out what he says about Furious Protection and some other cards that people play incorrectly. Now, again, a lot of the things he talks about are edge cases, corner cases. So, um, it's not entirely but this game is all about the fine details sometimes isn't it let's give you an angelic renewal uh, and the creature is put in the grave of battle. so this has to see the creature die 
I took it out of an uh, Relia for the same reason, because it has to be in play when the creature dies. Um, and then you can return it. I don't really have enough creatures to make this that effective now that I think about it, so let's put this in the possibilities. Treachery definitely stays. I steal your creature and tap a bunch of lands. Molting skin stays. So I can regenerate a creature, and when I bounce it back to my hand, I can recast it, and if I have an enchantress in play, of course I'll draw more cards. Land stays. Murray's Wake. Creatures control get plus one, plus one, and double your mana. Uh, yeah, that stays. Wargate. Uh, this is the original way I had of searching for Sarah Sanctum. Lands have a CMC of zero, so if I just spend three mana, I can go find a land and put it into play. And it doesn't say tapped or not, it just, I put it into play. So, this is pretty good. Um, I love that I have a foil one, so that stays. Arcana Wings. Okay, this is really here for the aura swap. So, the creature has flying, it doesn't give it any other buff, it's cheap, it's only one in a blue, and I can swap it. I spend two colors in a blue, bounce this back to my hand so I can recast it and put an enchantment that costs more or is more interesting into play. For example, Angelic Destiny or Eldrazi Conscription. Hey, uh, Rafik was flying when he attacked you. Uh, now that he's past the attack step, he's still flying, but I'm going to bounce it back to my hand and give him Conscription. So now he's plus 10 plus 10 with Trample and Annihilator 2. Of course, if he's already attacked, then the Annihilator 2 doesn't apply because he has already attacked at that point. But anyway, this is definitely staying. So Hollow Fountain stays. Conscription definitely stays. Command Tower um, or Opa Palace. No, not Opa Palace. Path of Ancestry that comes into play untapped. <laughs> Finest Hour. So this is kind of expensive at five, but it does give Rafik a bonus, and I get two combat, combat steps without paying any more mana, without doing any other bullshit. So that stays. Green says Zenith, spend three, go find Sithis Harvest Hand and put her into play, and then shuffle this back in to find something else. Stays. Replenish. Well, uh, that board wipe really sucked. Uh, let me recover from that right quick on my turn. It stays. Forest. Stays. Cradle of Growth. Don't really need it. Um, I don't have anything that gives him Forest Walk. I have cards that give him a Land Walk type of my choice. Yeah, I'll keep this. Uh, if I took that out, I would switch it for another land anyway. So it would be land for land. Swift Foot Boots gives him Hexproof and Haste, definitely stays. Land stays. My beautiful foil Seaside Citadel stays. Uh, go find a Savannah or Tropical Island stays. Tower, I've drawn a bunch of cards, I can keep them stays. I've never really used this. Used this. It just it's it's kind of in here in case the in case has never happened. But uh, it's low hanging fruit. It's a land. Keep it. Bruna. She does a lot of good work. Flying vigilance. Whenever she attacks or blocks, I can give her any number of auras in my hand or graveyard or on the oh or on the battlefield. Basically, any auras I have anywhere, I can just throw on her except my deck, so I can't search my deck, but Graveyard, Hand, Battlefield, yeah, she stays. Okay, coming right along, Canopy Vista stays, Eidolon of Countless Battles, uh, buffs them pretty good, it can be a creature if nothing else stays, Sphere of Safety, you would think this would be an automatic stay, but I haven't really needed it. Um, last game I had in my hand and I could have cast it, but with the board state, everybody was attacking with small creatures. 
Well, no. Let me rephrase that. Everybody was attacking with either one or two big, huge creatures and keeping their small creatures to block anyway. Or, with Cube, he was playing uh, Grayson Kellermorph and just pinging everything to death. So he wasn't attacking at all until they got his Locust got going. So this was not relevant in that game. Some games it would be relevant, but I've noticed the lads started to have more big creatures to attack with. So this is a possibility of being cut. Forbid, counterspell. With Forge Slime, there's only two counterspells so far, and then, hey, counterspell. Uh, go find a breeding pool or a temple garden. Stays. Counterspell. Stays. I might need another counterspell, actually. Find a land. Stays. Uh, Satessan Champion. She gets bigger, and I get to draw cards in order to play enchantments. Definitely stays. Forest stays. Sovereigns of, La Sovereigns of Lost Alara <laughs> definitely stays. Um, no creature control attacks alone, which is pretty much what the deck is designed to do. Search my library for an aura that could enchant that creature and attach it to that creature. Then shuffle. So kind of Bruna for one aura out of my deck stays. Land stays. Sword Splashers, I have learned my lesson. Um, I need some kind of instant creature removal. Stays. Forest, stays. Forest, stays. Aura of Silence slows my opponents down. And in a pinch, I can sack it to destroy an artifact or enchantment. And if I get Sun Titan, I can bring it back. Stays. Exploration, uh, since I'll be drawing ideally the deck works, drawing a lot of cards. I'll be getting more land so I can play more of them. Prairie Stream stays. You might notice the cards are a bit sticky. What happened is I washed the deck. What I did is I took a almost dry washcloth and I just rubbed each sleeve front and back on the cloth to clean off the uh, accumulated dirt, clean off the uh, oil. Um, last game, some of the lads were eating fish and chips with their fingers and then touching some of my cards, some of my sleeves, so I could see the oil and I didn't like it, didn't like it at all. So I washed my sleeves. <laughs> so they're still got a bit of that touch of dampness from uh, from when I did that because it's plastic and when you put plastic get together of course it doesn't uh, allow any sort of um, evaporation to occur. Compu enchantment, oh my god at, at first when I put this in the deck I thought eh, what am I gonna copy? Yeah, I'll put it in there anyway because I love the art like the quote, I don't need anyone else, muttered Hilda. You don't need anyone else, her reflection agreed. It's just beautiful. It, I, I don't like the other copy enchantment, the original. In fact, I never played it because I don't like the art, even though it might have been good. But when I copied that Sigil of the Empty Throne, holy shit, yeah, that stays. Kestia, the Cultivator. So if I bestow a creature, it buffs it. And uh, whenever the an enchanted creature or enchantment creature attacks, I get to draw a card. Sterling Grove, I can go find an enchantment. I can also protect my enchantments. Not let, let my opponents have been destroying many enchantments lately. I've noticed they're more worried about creatures and artifacts, which is kind of interesting. Of course, if they kill the creature with the auras on it, um, the auras go away. Burgeoning. Uh, same thing with the exploration, only this is more effective in a multiplayer game because in a four-man game, on each turn, each cycle, at least one man will typically play a land. Quite often, two, if not all three of my opponents will play lands, and if I have lands in my hand, I can play them along with them and increase my mana base. Traveler's Cloak. Okay, here's what I was talking about, Landwalk. So it comes into play, choose a land type. 
enchanted creature gets the land of walk of the, of the uh, chosen type. So if I have my Cradle of Growth, I can say Forest, and I can attack anybody with impunity. And I get to draw a card when it comes to play. Plus, it's beautiful Rebecca Gay artwork in foil from Invasion. Sarah Sanctum stays. <laughs> Armadillo Cloak uh, makes her feet bigger, trample, and lifelink. And uh, don't laugh, it works. Winds of Wrath, this is my sweeper. Yeah, I should have dried these off better. Destroy our creatures with no enchantments on them. They are buried. Can I, be, I really wish they'd bring back burying. I like it. I like how elegant it is. But they don't really have regeneration anymore, so I guess I don't care about reducing the amount of words on a card to have keyword bury. Anyway, that's the sweeper. Well, one of the sweepers. So here, I get a lot of choices. So that stays because I like each deck to have at least two forms of sweeper. Colossification, this comes out, this comes out right now. Um, it's funny, it makes the creature huge, the artwork is hilarious, it's foil, it was cheap, it fits the theme of the deck, but what I, what happened is, I had Bruna. I needed her to attack and block. So, I attacked with her, and I could have put classification from my graveyard into play on her, but it would have tapped her so she could not block, and I needed a blocker next turn. And it's just a win more card. Okay, the creature gets plus 20, plus 20. Well, hell, if her freak has Angelic Destiny and Ketri on him, when he attacks, he will be a 12-12 double striker. That will kill somebody if he's not blocked right there. So I don't need Colossification. That is definitely coming out. And what's going in is Seater Enchanter. Uh, I should have had him in, in before. In fact, I had one before, but I don't really like the art. It, I don't know, I just, I don't like how dark it is. So, I didn't have it in the deck. But now I realize I need that extra cast an enchantment spell, draw a card effect. So, Cedar Enchanter goes back in. Replacing Colossification. Down to the last few. Okay, Broken Fall, um, same as, now I can't remember the name of it, I just saw it, we just saw it, Molting Skin, yep, so basically this is a second Molting Skin, or Molting Skin is a second Broken Fall, bounce it back to my hand, create a regeneration shield around a creature, and then, of course, I can recast it to keep the, uh, the draw engines going if I have a draw engine in play, which I just put another one in the deck. Gossamer Chains, same thing. Um, bounce it back to my hand. Target a block creature deals no combat damage this turn. I can do that for anybody. So if one of my opponents, if I need him as a buffer and he's about to die, I can say, hey, um, actually his creature isn't going to deal any damage to you. I need you alive. And then I can recast it and draw more cards. Reflecting Pool stays. Ramp stays. So there's not a whole lot of cuts that I can make here. Let's take a look at the cards that I've pulled out for possibilities. Okay, Privilege Position on Pretty sure I'm going to take out for uh, and leave in cloud cover because they do kind of the same thing and that will reduce the overall CMC if I put something cheaper in. Sphere of sphere 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 of safety. So my safe space. I kind of want to keep it, but I need to make Rafik, I need to focus more on what he's supposed to do, which is smash people and kill them. So I'm going to take that out, 
angelic renewal so if a creature dies you can bring it back but I have three regeneration effects hmm if it's a small creature and it's not Sun Titan dying I have Sun Titan to bring it back and it just kinda sits there doing nothing and waiting it doesn't advance my strategy soul snare exile target creature that's attacking you or planeswalker you control so it sits there it gives my opponent something to think about it only impacts one creature though but it's cheap and it's not an aura so I don't require a creature in play to cast it I can just have it out there and it can feed Sarah Sanctum it can feed um, oh the the Sanctum Weaver it can feed her so let's keep that scroll rack I'm not really sure if Rafik needs this. Because he doesn't really need a lot of enchantments to be a lethal threat. I don't need to... Now if I want to dig for a counter spell, I can use it that way. I can use it to dig for a counter spell. Hmm. I guess I'll probably take it out. So what I'm going to do, those are the four possibilities. Again, we're talking about Rafik. And I'm going to go through my collection and uh, see what I want to change. Okay, so here's what I came up with. Now, I have four potential slots of things to come out. Jillic Renewal. Sphere of Safety. Privileged Position. Because I have Cloud Cover. And Scroll Rack. Possibilities are Eternal Witness, which um, all my other green decks have one for the most part. So uh, <laughs> I should probably not uh, let Rafik be an exception. Plus, I have the signed French one. Look really good, Rafik. What about Stoic Angel? So, Flying Vigilance, players cannot untap more than one creature during their tap steps could really be interesting so maybe I'll put her in I've had her for a long time because I love the art the foil one is cheap and then I have these so if I put one in I want to put all three in uh, just the way I, I like having completion so shield of the oversoul um, aura its creature is green it gets plus one plus one and indestructible if it's white, it gets plus one, plus one in flying. So Rafik would get plus two, plus two, flying indestructible. Steel of the Godhead. Rafik would get plus two, plus two, lifelink and unblockability. Could be good. Favor of the overbeing. Overbeing. Favor of the overbeing. As long as he's green and blue, he gets plus two, plus two, vigilance and flying. So maybe I don't want all three. Of course, this one only costs two to cast. Vigilance and flying. This one gives indestructible and flying. This one gives life link and blockability. So the only extra thing I get out of this, assuming I cast all three on him, is vigilance. Hmm. But that's five cards, and I have four potential slots. So I would need to take something else out or drop one of these. Vigilance on Rafik would be good. Indestructibility would be fantastic. Unblockability and lifelink would be nice. So I need to take something else out if I'm going to work those in. Uh, something else I thought of was um, 
Enchanted Evening. Enchanted Evening, all creatures are enchantments. It makes things shaky because Sony destroys all the enchantments. Everything goes away, including the lands. But maybe I'd want to take that risk. Maybe I'd want to play Enchanted Evening. But of course, it does nothing else. It feeds Sarah Sanctum. It feeds Sanctum Weaver. Um, it doesn't really do anything else because I would be taking out Sphere of Resistance. So is there, is there any other relatively painless cuts to make? And if you see any, if you see any, uh, do let me know. Uh, tell me in the comments if there's something that you think I should take out or something you really think I should add. Now, if you tell me I should add something, don't just tell me I should add something without telling me what you think I should take out. I've had a few comments, and it, it's a bit frustrating because I understand you're trying to help, but, yeah, okay, this card would be great. Yeah, okay, what do I cut for it? Oh, um, hmm, uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Uh, Wargate is good. She's still in the works of really understanding if she's good. I only have three counter spells. I have two of these effects, but they are good. Mm. Makes him big, and it can be big. Ringy ding dong. No, kind of want that. Hexproof and haste. The haste is key. Something else I could do is um, I can actually cut that and put in a collector oof. Collector oof is a one colorless, one green, two two oof. Activated abilities of artifacts cannot be activated. And if I don't have swift food boots, if I don't have um, scroll rack, I'm down to soul ring. Do I have a soul ring in this deck? I don't believe Rafik has a soul ring. Let me check. Because if I take out all the artifacts with activation costs, then uh, there's no reason not to run a collector of his there. I do not have a soul ring in that stack. I do not remember telling you about one. No, uh, I had planned on just getting lands into play. Hmm. So if I get a collector oof, I could take out the boots and put in the oof. That, that could be interesting. So anyway, I don't see anything immediate so let me start taking out some of these cards now the reason I taken them out of the sleeves is when I put it in my binder I I like to have them unsleeved in the ultra pro super expensive um, pages uh, that's not very good. That's that sleeve is is done. I have to get another one. Uh, and it protects the card pretty well. And I don't like the extra layer of plastic from the perfect fit interfering with the uh, image on the card. I like to have it as little between me and my eyeballs as possible. So let's put in Stoic Angel. Let's fix that. So Stoic Angel could be fun. Sphere of Safety. I really am not sure about taking this out. Um, <laughs> it's. I feel like I'm hanging myself out to dry. But I need to focus on Rafik, what he wants to do. Life link and unblockability. What if what if I didn't put in Steel of the Godhead? 
What if I focused on potential indestructibility and flying? Because I have numerous ways to give him trample. And vigilance, because vigilance can be very good. And taking out angelic renewal, but putting in internal witness, I feel pretty good about that. So, I'll have to take him out next Thursday and see if these, uh, these changes make him more focused. Make him do more of what I want to do. So if I get that down, indestructible flying, plus two, plus two. If I get her down, hmm, yeah, maybe I do need the vigilance. <laughs> uh, of course, my recovery, so I don't need the renewal as much. In favor of the overbeing, vigilance and flying. All right, uh, next Thursday, I'll take Rafik out with these changes. Squeeze out the air and see how it works. I do like I'm adding two more creatures though, that does feel better. Alright, cheers. <laughs>